Sale nada, contigo a cuerpo, asedio, no te va a cuerpo. Jesus, is Lord, like you, you are so great. Oh, you are great. Hallelujah, oh, you are great. You are great, oh, you are great. There's no one like you. Bless you, ma'am. You are very grateful. Can you begin to echo that same words and declare that our God is great, is good, and there is none like unto him. Because he reigns forever alone as God. Begin to magnify him the mighty name of Jesus. Tell him you are great father in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, you are good. You are good in the heaven. On that, you are good. And forever, you are always good. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. In heaven you reign as God because you are great. On earth you reign supreme because you are great. Even in everything you are always good and great. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. How do we thank you because we know you are great? Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your greatness to us, us. for your mercy to us, us, for your love to us, us. for your kindness to us. us. For every good thing and marvelous thing we have experienced of you. We say, Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your greatness in us and to us. us. Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. We declare you reign over all. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Magnify him and exalt him, brethren. Give him praise for what he has been doing in our life in these few days. Our God is good, our God is kind. Blessed be his name in the mighty name of Jesus. There's no time we gather like this in his presence. We are not blessed because it's good. Indeed, our God is good. He's good in the heavens. The angel declare his goodness. On that is good. Everything created declares goodness. Oh, blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything seen and unseen declares goodness and his majesty. Blessed be your name, Daddy, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are very grateful. We are very grateful. Very grateful. We appreciate your love and goodness. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. To you alone be praised. To you alone be praised. To you alone be praised. In Jesus' mighty name. In honor of our family. Please thank you for your family in particular. Thank you for every member of your family. For every tree in your family. Thank you for your faithfulness to your family. Thank you because you have been good to your family and to your household. Bless his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Magnify him in the mighty name of Jesus. For every member of your family, please bless him. For every member of your household, please bless him. 
Pray members of your loved one, please bless him. Allow be thy name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless him for his love and his goodness. His goodness and his love to us. us. Thank you, Father. Please bless him. For your very life, please bless him. Oh, bless him for everything God is doing in all our lives. We are seeing his hand. We are expressing his hand. We can see his hand over our life and our families. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. There is not to be compared to you. Thank you, my worship his name. Thank you, my worship his name. Thank you because it's been good to you, brethren. It'll be good to every one of us. Oh, thank you because God will be good to every one of us. We are experiencing his power. We are experiencing his love. We are experiencing his awesomeness. We are experiencing his majesty. We are expressing his grace. We are expressing his faithfulness. We can say of a true our God is good. And yeah, the Lord is He's faithful in nothing. He's a marvelous God. He's a God of miracle. He work great things. He do great things. He perform great things. Glory to his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank him because of what he has done, what he's doing, and what he will yet do. Glory to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Exalt his name, exalt his name. Thank him for he that he has helped us. We know he has not brought all this fire to disgrace us. Thank him and thank him and thank him. Thank him because we know he has not brought all this fire to disgrace us. He will not abandon us. He has not abandoned us. And he will never abandon us. He brought us this far that he might continue with us. He brought us this far that he might sustain us. He brought us this far that he might help us. Blessed be his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for what he's doing. Thank you for what he's doing. Thank you for what he's doing. In our line, in our nation, God is faithful. Oh, in our business, you can see his hand. In our endeavor and work, we can see his hand. Oh, that we say thank you. That we say thank you. That we say thank you. Hallowed be thy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. When we come to a meeting like this, sometimes it's not because we wanted to come or somebody invited us. That's my, those might play some roles and some parts. But Jesus have it to say, he said, no man can come to my father, I mean, no man can come to me, except my father draw him. Even when you want to come, when you have make up your mind to come, when you have been invited or you just say to yourself, I want to make this meeting. If God not give the enablement, you will not be able to do it. Man, don't forget. Something just happened only for you to remember at the dot or the hour that ah, I have missed that program. If you are here this morning, because God draw you to himself. If you ever look up to him, it's because his spirit is drawing you to himself. And that's why you should appreciate him for that. Say that thank because your spirit is drawing me to you. Thank you because your spirit is drawing me to you. You didn't abandon me to myself. You didn't leave me to myself. You didn't abandon me to be doing to be doing my own thing myself, to be helping myself. You know I can't help myself. You know I can't strengthen myself. You know I had no power of my own. You know if I should depend on my strength, I will collapse. But your help has been there for me. You have always drawn me to yourself. Even this morning again, you are drawing me to yourself. To be among those that will look up to you, among this wonderful people of God to pray to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What a privilege to be in a place of prayer. What a privilege to be with God's people to pray. What a privilege to trust God in prayer. What a privilege to believe God in prayer. What a privilege to, to look up to God in prayer. We say, Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. We say, Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for what you are doing. Thank you for what you have been doing the past three days. We appreciate your goodness, your mercy, your spirit in our life. We appreciate that. And the power and the strength we are receiving of you, we appreciate that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Even though physically nothing may have changed, but we know a lot is happening in our life that we also manifest in our physical life very soon. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the great thing you are doing in our life that we manifest and are manifesting right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Yes, I don't know if our mother called me to pray for our son that was going back to school. I think only got in an admission to go back to school, go to school. So that's his first time. I want to pray for that young man and every of our young one on campuses, either in body houses or they're on campuses studying. Either they are home with you now, they are still on campuses. I want to pray for them. Everyone of school age. And the criminals are going from home to school and coming back at the end of at the end of each evening. That God will sustain them and keep them. That they go and come, grace will sustain them. The current of life and of peace will be theirs in the mighty name of Jesus. We suffer no loss on anyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone will preserve their going out. They will keep their going in in the mighty name of Jesus. God will preserve them in Jesus' mighty name. Heaven we preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be well with all our own in Jesus' mighty name. It shall be well with our own in the mighty name of Jesus. All our children on campuses or anywhere you have put them in all over the world where you have kept them, they are preserved in Jesus' mighty name. They are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. They are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. They are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. They are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Lord, we say you should pray against food poisoning. That thing you buy in the market, whatever way it may come, you will not be victim of such in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It will have no place in our home, Amen. in our loved one, in the mighty name of Jesus. Even by chance, we buy food outside, or our children buy it outside. None of them be a victim of food poisoning in Jesus' mighty name. Say, Father, the mighty name of Jesus. We say no to food poisoning in Jesus' mighty name. In any form, in any way. Say no to food poisoning in Jesus' mighty name. As parents and as your children, we declare and we say no to all form of threat of food poisoning in the mighty name of Jesus. No to food poisoning of any kind in the mighty name of Jesus. Any form of poison that comes through food or drinks or water, we say no to them in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not come near us. We will not experience them. It will not happen in our community. It will not happen in our household. All our children on campuses, they are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. All our children on, in school, they are preserved and protected in the mighty name of Jesus. No one of our own will suffer food poisoning in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are all kept in Jesus' mighty name. No calamity whatsoever we are food poisoning in the mighty name of Jesus. Our food are blessed. Our water are blessed. Our drinks are blessed. Whatever we put into our mouth, in the mighty name of Jesus, our self and our children and our loved ones and our youth, they are all preserved in our kept in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever we put in our mouth are sanctified to the glory of God and to the benefit of our body, in the mighty name of Jesus. The, the Bible says, if I eat any deadly thing, they will have no power over me. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall not eat any deadly thing, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. When I say food poisoning, it doesn't only mean physical one now. Sometimes people get poison in their dreams. You just find yourself eating this food, and from that time, their heads are never the same again. All sorts like that. Either it has already happened overnight or before now, before the Lord revealed it, or it's about to happen. We say not to eat in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the power and the power of Jesus Christ, we nullify those effects. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said, No weapon fashion against me shall prosper. Therefore, every form of poisoning, either in the dream or in the physical, and against any one of us, against any woman, against any man, against any child, against any boy or any girl, against any member of praying parent prayer group, and in this community of praying parents, in the mighty name of Jesus, we say no to food poisoning in the mighty name of Jesus. Every poison food eaten in dream, they are nullified. Their effect are nullified. Their power are nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Food is a form, form of uh, agreement. If a wife cook or the husband and the man is eating, it's only say, I agree what you present before me and I accept it. And that's how it is in the dream, too. When somebody gives something in the dream and you just eat, it's a form of agreement, a covenant. 
And the Bible says your agreement with death shall not stand. And your agreement with the grave shall be, shall, shall be disannulled. And that will be it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every form of covenant and agreement are entered to by food, either physical or spiritual, either consciously or in dream. Every form of agreement entered to in dream in the mighty name of Jesus and by the covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ. They are nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. They are effect and render useless in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and declare that with your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Every form of covenant I've entered into, either I'm even aware of it or no. Sometimes we dream and even forget that we have that dream. Every form of covenant I've entered into in dream, either by sexual intercourse or by feeding or whatever thing is done, consciously or even in dreams. Either I know or I'm not aware of it, whichever way it may have come or it may come. By the name of Jesus, by the covenant in the name of Jesus, and by the covenant in the blood of Jesus Christ, I nullify their effect, I cancel their effect, they are rendered none of effect, rendered useless concerning me and all mine in the mighty name of Jesus. My head will not bow to such in the mighty name of Jesus. My head will have no place in touch in the mighty name of Jesus. They have no place in my head. They are nullified, their effect are canceled. The Bible tells me my covenant with death are nullified, and my covenant with the grave are canceled. And so shall it be for me and for my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Every form of poison is in food, consciously or not, in dream or physical. They have no place in me. Their effect are nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. So it is. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I pray for you every covenant you have entered to, consciously or not, or your children have entered to, consciously or not via sexual things, via feeding through the mouth or drinking, or the one that happened in your dreams that you know or you're not even aware of it, all sorts of corner like that. It doesn't matter on the background or the ground on which they stand. There is only one solid ground. Every other ground has seeking ground. And in the name of that Jesus Christ, and by the power of his blood, the covenant of grace in the blood of Jesus Christ, I declare according to the word of God, Every agreement with death, every agreement with sickness, every agreement with diseases, entered to by food, either in dream or in the physical, consciously or not. All such of covenant and agreement, they are rendered useless and nullify and disannul in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every agreement that entered so far and say, gradually she will fall sick, or he will fall sick, and eventually he will enter into death, into the grave. All such of agreement that you have entered into. By the name of Jesus, at which every name bow, and by the covenant of his blood, by the which the Lord himself established a new covenant, a better testament, a better speaking, that speak better than the blood of Abel. Every of such covenant, I bring them to the subjection of the covenant of grace in the blood of Jesus Christ. And I declare that never use less in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Grace prevail over you. The blood of Jesus will prevail over you. And where your children in the mighty name of Jesus, every dream your children are having, or they've already had, and they're working negatively, or they work negatively in their life, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, I say they are nullified in the mighty name of Jesus, and they are rendered useless in Jesus' mighty name. It is it can deliver, or the prayer of the mighty be set free, because they are the the prayer become prayer by reason of the food and those covenants. The Bible says the lawful cat shall be delivered and the prayer of the mighty shall be let go. According to that scripture, I declare you are free now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is the Son shall make you free. You are free indeed. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Son make you free. Amen. The Son declare you free Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will live your life in hurt. Every sickness, pain, disease is planned for you by reason of those food. That I'll be eating, or that they are even planned to give it to you. They have failed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Those covenants have failed. Amen. Those sickness will not have food. Amen. They will not take hold Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And God alone shall be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.
now pray for yourself again this morning. Lord, give me all trance in Jesus' mighty name. Let me pray on mine for me and for my family in the mighty name of Jesus. I love to pray, but I want to pray your way. I love to pray, but I want to pray your mind. I don't want to just offer words for uttering words sake. Lord, give me words this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the right word in Jesus' mighty name. The right word for my spouse. The right word for my children. The right word for my home. The right word for myself. The right word for my work. The right word for my income. Even the right word for Nigeria at this time. Lord, give me the right word in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the right word in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the right word in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me the right word in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let me, be with, let me begin with Nigeria. The Bible says, when they shall say peace, peace, suddenly calamity will come upon them. You will agree with me that the peace we are currently enjoying in Nigeria is an uneasy peace, a fragile peace, a peace that can be disrupted at any time by the activity of politicians. And they are doing a lot currently. As a matter of fact, this Sunday election, Saturday election, anybody even sure if you hold or not. And even if you hold, you can be sure many noise will come after it. So the peace we are currently enjoying is an uneasy one, a fragile one that can be disrupted at any time. Peace, peace, they say, but sudden calamity come upon them. That will not be for Nigeria in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every evil plan by the enemy, every calamity, every war, every uneasiness in the mighty name of Jesus. Your blood prevail over them in the mighty name of Jesus. We prevail over them and against them by the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. We prevail over them and against them in the mighty name of Jesus. We say they shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be peace over this land, perpetual peace in Jesus' mighty name. Continual peace in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare peace over this land in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. When we come back to pray for Nigeria again, we want to pray for our people living abroad. They be praying for us, and it's okay we pray for them. Each time we pray like this, they pray for us. People living in Canada, in the US, in the States, they all join us from time to time. And sometimes they don't, they may not join us all the timing. They pray the prayer with Lord along with us. And when we pray, they pray for us. It's also good to pray for them, that God will maybe wherever they may be, in their land of, to be a land of peace and of rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. None of our members be a victim of terrorist attack, either by gun or by bullet or by knifing or by attack of any bomb. In whatever way terrorists are planning, they will not be a victim in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We hear of shooting here and there. None of our members be a victim of bullet in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go ahead and pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere their children are, anywhere their spouses are, anywhere their loved ones are, any school they are attending, those school now experience mass attack of the enemy, any school they are attending, no enemy will go and be shooting children there in the mighty name of Jesus. Our people are safe in Jesus' mighty name. No one of our members shall be a victim of terror attack in the mighty name of Jesus. No one of our members shall be a victim of terror attack in the mighty name of Jesus. No one of our members of the material attack in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you want to pray for your church. You know, the, in the Bible, James was attacked. And not only attacked, he was arrested and killed. He was beheaded, actually, by the authority. And because the church did not pray, and it seemed all was well, the Bible says the enemy stretched forth his hand to take Peter also. And Peter was actually arrested. And uh, when was actually Peter was arrested, before you know it, um, he was to be killed. He was put in jail to be killed, I think, the following day or so. But the church now realized that they have not used the power of prayer. And when they pray, God intervened. Peter was delivered. And that was the last that was, was written that authority involved in killing openly like that. Even if you happen again, it was a secret thing, and God dealt with that and dealt with it permanently. And Peter lived to the time God has appointed him to live. That's a event that happened of late in uh, learning. You must have heard about it. 
and it happened in the premise of our church, one of our, one of our members' church. It just occurred to me that I should pray for that church. The event that happened is not the major thing, but the venue is important. If we don't pray, we say it's not my church. God forbid such a horrible thing happened in another church that belongs to any one of us or where our children are. Imagine your child being in that school and seeing two dead bodies on the ground. It's not a good child, a good life for any child. Those children, they will never forget those pictures in their life. And it's not a good picture at all. If it will happen, let it happen elsewhere, not on such a holy premise. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever we have done as a child that my brother about that, forgive us. And it will never happen again in the mighty name of Jesus. Not in any church, not in Nigeria, not abroad. No, any form of attack or killing will happen on any church premise again in the mighty name of Jesus. As a body of Christ, we stand against it. We say no to it in the mighty name of Jesus. It will never happen again in any of our ground. The ground of this church is a holy ground, not a killing spirit. The ground of this church is a holy ground, a living ground, not a killing feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, nobody will die on a church of a ground again and go to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, nobody will die on church ground again and move to hell. Never again in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not happen in that place again or in any of our ground again all over the world. We are at this cause church. In the mighty name of Jesus, every form of attack on church ground, it will never prosper again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. You know, the covenant is shared as a group. It's covenant of life and of peace. I want the demonstration of that covenant is that I will not see evil. I will not witness evil. Not only me, or my children too. When such will happen in any place, it will happen in any church again in Jesus' name. Amen. But if it happen in any place again, my children will not witness it. Amen. Myself, I will not see it. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a witness to evil again, evil in Jesus' mighty name. The covenant of life and of peace will be effective, it be effectual for me and for my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, they're in a bus, somebody was killed. Oh, they're in a train center, train, 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 train bus, and they attacked the train center. No, I will not be there. My wife will not be there, my children will not be there, my loved one will not be there in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not see evil. I will not witness evil. I will not be part of evil in the mighty name of Jesus. The covenant of life and of peace is mine. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. My children will not see a gory picture. They will not witness a gory picture in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah to you alone in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And you will pray for yourself. As I go today, God will go with me. My going forth and my coming in a bless in the mighty name of Jesus. My going forth and my coming in a bless in the mighty name of Jesus. My going forth and my coming in a bless. I carry power. I carry grace. I carry the Spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, I will go out in power. I will return in power in the mighty name of Jesus. I will go out in grace. I will return in grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I will go out a blessing. I will return a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone you are blessing me with, my wife, my children, my loved one, everyone under my roof, my sibling, every member of Praying Prayer Prayer Group, you will go forth in blessing. You will come in in blessing every day of this week and every day of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I say and I declare, everyone I'm blessed with, everyone go out to bless me with, you will go out in peace, you will come back in peace, and enjoy in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a victim of circumstance in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You could pray for the program we are doing here, the work we are doing here, that God will prosper that work in the mighty name of Jesus. No work of devil or darkness will prosper against that work in Jesus' mighty name. The purpose of establishing a physical praying uh, community that we shall establish both in the life of those that are meant for and in life of all that are praying for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And as many ways we are supported in finance or in prayer, whatever way, even in supporting the idea, in believing the idea, whatever way we are supported, 
heaven will return back in hundredfold a reward in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go ahead and pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, that the work will prosper, the work of the first family church that we are working in, but then here we prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Every family that are ordained to be blessed by it, every marriage that are ordained to be blessed by it, every young man and woman that are ordained to be blessed by it, every child whose parents are to come there and imbibe the culture of praying for the children, Lord, you will bring them in the mighty name of Jesus, and it shall be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. The work we be, as has begun, we continue and we end in blessing in the mighty name of Jesus, and everyone that has supported in purpose, in thought, in prayer, in finance, in paying their debt to support it, in paying their offering to support it, every form of support that have come, Lord, you will reward abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody will invest in vain. Nobody will invest prayer, invest support in vain. Nobody will invest tight or offering in vain. Nobody will invest in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus, my praise name, we are praying. I was talking to my son the other day, and I was talking to him about the prayer of Nehemiah. I was challenging him that you are not reading the Bible. And he said, I've read the Bible, Nehemiah, and uh, Revelation in these few days. And I was saying, okay, if you are read the Nehemiah, as a prayer, the Nehemiah was praying as constant all over his works, his works, his uh, writing. I do notice that prayer when you are reading it, and you pray it. And I was teaching him how to read the Bible and how to see those prayers and pray when you read the Bible. The best form of prayer is prayer you lift directly from the Bible. And I want to lift one this morning from that same name. They say, remember me, O Lord, for the work, for the good I've done for Jerusalem. Remember me, O Lord, for the good I've done for this work, for the world. He was repeating that prayer almost every chapter of Nehemiah. Go ahead, Nehemiah, you'll see it there. It was there, I remember, I know that it is possible to work for God and tell God to remember you for the good you have done. Because this work you are doing, even this prayer you have prayed for us, or you have helped us in any form, even as a group, you have been, that you are even here this morning, is a, is a good work. You say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the good I have done, both for this fellowship, for the church we are attend, for the things of God, every good I have done in your name. Remember me in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember me in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm an usher in my church, or I'm a choir, I'm a choir person in my church, or I'm a children teacher in my church. In any way, I've done good to you. Or in praying, parents, community here, I paid my tithe, I paid my offering, or I supported the work in prayer. In any good I've done for your church, remember me in the mighty name of Jesus. As a pastor, wife, please pray that prayer. As a pastor yourself, please pray that prayer. As a member, you have worked in any form, please pray that prayer. Say, God, remember me in every way I've worked for your for you and for your work in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember me in the mighty name of for the good I've done for your church. Remember me in the mighty name of Jesus for the good I've done in your name in paying my tithe, in paying my offering, in supporting your work, in doing my part, in praying, Lord, for the good I've done for your work, for your work. Remember me in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember me, my children, in Jesus' mighty name. I my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't just remember me alone. Remember my children too for the good I've done in, their name, in your name for them in Jesus' mighty name and on their behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I say for you, you will not, you will not serve in vain. You will not invest in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Nehemiah said that it was written. And because it was written, it means God accepted of it. God approved of it. God loved the prayer. That's why it was written. And he kept repeating it. God, remember me for the good I have done. God, remember me. For the good I have done, and God indeed remember him. And that's why you are reading of him to today. Lord, I pray for everyone hearing me now. And for myself, hearing myself, for the good we have done in your name. In exerting energy, in exerting labor, in ushering, in being a choir member, in being children teacher, in being an accountant for the church, in being praying for your people, in being a member of this group praying with us and supporting the work as we are doing it in any way, despite that they have their churches. They just support the work we are doing here in their own little way. Father, in all this we have done, even praying in, like this in the morning is a good work. In all we have done in your name. In all we are done for your name. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, as it is written that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. 
Lord, we did all this thing as a way of seeking you or looking for your favor. Lord, remember us in the mighty name of Jesus. No one hearing me will invest in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Every of your investment, God will reward you. In your head, he will reward you. In the head of your children, he will reward you. In the head of your family, he will reward you. In the head of your income, he will reward you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not invest in vain. I say you can never invest in vain. As long as it's done in God's name, it will never be in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus says, say, give. And to be given unto you. Press down. Checking together. Running over. Shall men put unto your bosom. For the same measure you may, it shall be made unto you again. And even much more. According to that scripture, you shall receive more and more in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. I say, God bless you. And God honor your prayer. You will not pray in vain in Jesus' mighty name. Every word you utter in prayer, the Bible says God sit on high, but you have respect to men. Every word you have, you have uttered in prayer. God will have respect to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, there are words you have said that you said mistakenly and miss, or you didn't know how to construct it. God Himself will turn it around for you and will construct it aright for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every sin are forgiven. He said, Every sin I remit is remit. And the one to, I say to stay, to stay. On that scripture, I stand on that ground. And I say, Your sins are remitted. Amen. They are forgiven Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone have mercy on you Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Every poison against you, opposed against you, or that I won't be perfected against you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, The nullify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. They will hold no effect upon you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Even if you are eating them, they are better me to you now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Our time is quickly returning out. Let us quickly have what God has for us today. As we read from that same verse, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. We've been treating that verse for the past three days. And we are trusting God to continue that same verse for the rest of this program. If the Lord says so, praise the Lord. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. We are considering keeping and sustaining the power keeping and sustaining the blessing, keeping and sustaining what God has given to you, the fire, the grace you have received in this four days program. And I will see received by God's grace tomorrow morning. Please join us and remind others to join us as well. Keeping and sustaining the power. When you give back to a bride, a baby, a mom that said, understand what I'm saying very much, you give that baby your, your milk and the baby suck. And because the milk is good for the baby, there are mothers, the, 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 the child becomes sick when the, 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 the baby begins to draw the milk. And the doctor will say, don't give the baby milk again. Just be feeding it to mother thing. So it means it is possible for a child to drink the milk and be poisoned. But your own drink your milk and drank your milk, and the milk was favorable to the child. And the child begins to grow. What do you do as a mother? You keep feeding the child with the milk as long as it can take it before it now begins to feed with the solid food that's how it is in spiritual thing keeping and sustaining the power is one thing to receive the blessing just as a mother receive the child it's one thing to receive that child it's another thing to nurture and to sustain that child and the child will grow in your hand and the same thing for the blessing we are receiving on god this three day in particular and trusting god for the day that is to come tomorrow by god's grace we are trusting for you. God bless us in Jesus' mighty name. So if you want to receive this blessing, it's another thing to keep it. Sustaining, keeping, and sustaining the power that we have just received. Sometimes the problem is not getting the power. Sometimes the problem is keeping the heat, keeping the fire to keep burning. The Bible says, do not allow the fire on the altar to go off, to die. In that act, verse one, verse, chapter 1, verse 8, it says, but you shall receive power. Which we have received by God's grace. I've received power in the mighty name of Jesus. Say to yourself, I've received power in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm a carrier of power in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm a covenant carrier. And every covenant carrier carry power. I carry power in the mighty name of Jesus. Just this morning we pray and we ask God to, to, to renew the covenant of life and of peace. That is power. Every covenant carrier carry power. Because God is a God of covenant. When you carry his power, you carry his presence. When you carry his presence, you carry his 
is power, is rest, is comfort, is peace. So every point carrier is a power, is a power carrier. So it say my power will come upon you because my Holy Spirit is come upon you. And you will be witnesses. All that will see it. Your life will witness my power. Your life, your family, your destiny, your children will witness the fact that it is possible for things to turn around for good, for children to be raised and be godly, that it is possible to live a life that please God, a godly life, that your life will be a witness that it is possible to get sick and be healed, that much more it is even possible to have health and not be sick at all. These are possibilities that God is uh, uh, bringing to understanding that he will do and we will do and we yet do for us in Jesus' mighty name, that we may be witnesses unto him in that beginning, both in Jerusalem, in our family, we witness his power, then in Judea, in our community, then in Samaria, maybe in our city, in, the, in our state, in our nation, then unto the uttermost parts of the earth. So the power to get this done from Jerusalem to Judea, to Samaria, until the whole world sees his faithfulness in our life. That power is in us now. Now it's left for us to nurture it, to keep it, to sustain it, that it may grow. Many people get blessed in a program like this. They get the blessing in a program like this. But give them two, three days out of the program, it begins to fade off. Instead of increasing, it begins to fade off. Instead of sustaining, as I some people, they go to miracles, grand, crusade, they get blessed. The miracle gets to their hand. They get healed. Maybe they have a particular amen before. The amen disappear. But give them one week. Give them two weeks. That same thing, they testified that praise the Lord. I was ill. This thing happened in my life. That same thing began to come back again. You know why? They received the blessing, but they lack the power to sustain it. But that will no longer be me and you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The power may be free, but it takes hard work to keep the blessing and to grow it. It takes hard work to give the power, to keep the gift that we have received and to grow it. And how do we do that? By the same means you receive it. I just told you this morning, a mother gives a, a, a meek to her child, and the child is sustained by the meek. And because the child is sustained by the meek, she gives give the meek to the child, so that the child will keep growing. Because she has realized this meek is good for the child. And the child grow in her hand, and the child begin to eat, eat other food that adult are, adult are eating. She begin to try the, the child with different food. But when she discover a particular food, it's not good for the child. Anytime this child eat this food, he begin to purge. He begin to get sick. The child, the mother will consciously begin not to feed the child with that food again. But the one that sustains the child, that is good for the child. That the child eat and it's growing. What will mother do or any parent do? They will continue to feed the child with that kind of food and the type of the, or the classes of that food, so that the child will continue to grow. And the same way, brethren, it does any power we have received in these three days. It does any blessing we have received in these three days. It does any grace we have received in these three days. It does anything that God has done in our life in these days, and we have received them by prayers. We can only keep them. We can only sustain them. We can only make them to grow more and more by the same means we have received them, prayer. It means the strength of everything that you get in prayer is only sustained by prayer. And that's why this four days may go. And uh, we will now begin to do a meeting only once in a week. But it's not left for you to draw out a program to draw out a means that how do I do it and sustain the blessing I've received these four days, that it will not just be at this premature level, it will begin to grow from Jerusalem. It begins to grow and begin to enlarge. Just for example, maybe I have the gift of singing and I sing very well in my house and my wife loves my singing. As long as I'm singing in my house, it will make my house. When I discover I sing very well and my wife and the children listen when I sing, and they love my singing, what do I do? I begin to sing more and improve on it. It gets a time that my voice will be too loud for my family. It be too, too much for my family. And, the, and my wife may say, or the children may say, Daddy, why don't you sing in the church? 
Why don't you sing in our in our parish or in our uh, as the name may call your place? Why don't you sing in the church and let the church be blessed the way you have been blessed in our family? And I will say that is true. And what we I do? I will go and practice more singing. I've learned that singing bring blessing. When people listen in my family, then to they be, keep bringing the blessing, what do I do? I keep singing, doing the singing. Then I go to the church. That I'm going to from Jerusalem to Judea now. I go to sing in the church. And my church, they are blessed anytime I sing. And the more I sing, the more they get blessed. What do I do by doing by to get the blessing? You know, I keep singing. You keep doing the same thing to keep the same thing going and increasing. It gets to a time. My voice be too loud for my church, be too big for my church. And before you know it, people in my community, all that churches, they need to hear about me. And they will say, sir, can't you come and, and minister to us on a particular Sunday and sing for us? The other day, we came to your church to come and worship because we had to be around your house. And we saw the way you minister. Can you come to our place too and minister? And before you know it, they invite you there too. And now you are now in your Judea. And you are going to minister there. It will get to a point your voice will be so loud and bigger than your city. And before you know it, the next city is calling you. The next state is calling you. Before you know it, the whole country is calling you to come and sing. You keep doing the same thing, keep improving on it. And before you know it, you become your voice become mad, mature and loud in the thing that God has committed in your hand. What am I saying? That it is strength of every blessing. It is strength of everything we have received this, this few days. The strength and the power to keep them, to keep putting them where they be, in the same mayor, the same place we have received it. If you have received things by prayer, if prayer has been the means by which you have been blessed, then the way to keep increasing, because you must grow. He said, you'll be witness unto me in Jerusalem. It didn't stop there. You have to grow and you have to keep increasing. And because we are growing, Jerusalem becomes too small for you. Then you're going to go to Judea. Judea contains Jerusalem and other many towns and cities. Then to Judea and minister. It takes a time, Judea will be too small for you because you keep doing the same thing. You keep renewing the grace. You keep renewing the effort. And you keep growing in God's hand. Then Judea becomes too small. Before you know, people in Samaria, they will call you. Come to us to Liberia Paul. He get to a point, they call him, even in the dream, in the dream, come over to Macedonia and help us too. Because where you are, you have done enough. Go to another, another place. And he saw that dream as his God speaking to him, that you go to Macedonia and be a blessing to them also. So the way to keep this blessing going, increasing, encouraging, enlarging, so much that it's a blessing to you and to your loved one and people around you, is by the same means you have received it. Righteousness is only possible through prayer, and prayer is only possible through righteousness. Godliness is only possible through prayer, and prayer is only possible through godliness. The same way you receive, that is the same way you keep it. And it is the mind of God for us to grow. Every living thing grow. If you plant as a farmer and it is not growing, you won't be happy. If as a mother or as a father, you give birth to a baby and a baby of eight, of, of eight is looking like two years old, you won't be happy as you want your child to grow, to become mature, to become a man, to become a woman and even marry and have children and you'll be happy. I remember one of my grandmother here, when, when the, we used to call her the young, young, young grandmother, she's actually very young, but now your grandmother, she's in the meetings I'm talking now, we call her that, she's happy being a grandmother. See our children, children. Amen. So therefore, the same way our mommy is happy, our daddies are happy, seeing their children, children, because they have grown in their hand. That is the same way God wants us to grow that which he has given us. The fire must not die, and the fire will not die in the mighty name of Jesus. What God has given to you, the power, the fire, you might not know it's even there because it is very, it may look small. You may not know you have even received much because it may look small, but the more you work on it, the more you find it, the more you do your best, the more you read your Bible. Look at us now studying the same verse for the past three days, and we just study that same verse tomorrow. The more you look at it, the more you study your Bible, the more you do the prayer. It doesn't have to be two, three hours at a stretch praying. It might just be five minutes, but it's consistent. 
it is regular. You are continually talking to God. That is the way to keep the blessing. That is the way to keep the fire burning so much that even yourself might not see it, but those outside, they will see the fire. They will see the grace you carry. They will see the power you carry. They will see the strength you carry. They will know you are not longer your ordinary you. They will see your children in their schools covered with fire of the Holy Ghost, and they cannot do them harm. You know why? Mommy is somewhere praying. Daddy is somewhere praying. Not only for these three days, but he kept she or she keep sustaining and keeping the blessing received through the same me it has been received. You can't keep what you receive in prayer by woman standard. You can only keep it by prayer. You can't sustain what you receive in prayer by any other thing. You can't sustain in prayer. The fire must not go down. The altar must not be empty. The fire must not go off. You must continue to put wood fire wood and continue to fan it until it grow and grow and grow and grow and it becomes so large that you become a witnesses for all to see. I be a witness for God in the mighty name of Jesus. Say for yourself, I be a witness for God in the mighty name of Jesus. I will grow this power. I will grow this grace I have received. I will grow this blessing I have received in the mighty name of Jesus. All the blessing, all the grace, the Lord has blessed me with in these three days. I will grow them in the mighty name of Jesus. I will grow them in the mighty name of Jesus. I will grow them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. God is a progressive God. You will be my witnesses in Judea, in Jerusalem, I mean, Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and the whole world. And that scripture has been fulfilled to let to the letter even to today. That's why we are all hearing the gospel now. Because they went throughout the whole world from Jerusalem. They went in that progression from Jerusalem to Judea to the whole world. And that's what God wants for our lives and for our family. Please don't let this blessing die. And don't keep it to yourself. Be making progress. You can't be the believer you were 10 years ago and still be the same believer today. It is wrong spiritually. If you are a mother and your child is not growing, will you be a happy mother? No. If you are a father and the boy did work three, four times and it's not passing, will you be a happy father? The boy is ready for marriage, but no wife is coming. The guest ready for, for marriage, no wife is coming. Or they are married for years now, no children are coming. Instead of having children and children are growing and you are caring for grandchildren, they're not coming. As a father, as a mother, you won't be happy. The same way our God, if we are not growing, God will not be happy. And a blessing not kept can be lost. A blessing not growing can be stunted. My grace will not stunt me, not be stunt in Jesus' mighty name. I will not lose my blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive grace to keep this blessing. I receive power to keep this blessing. I will grow and I will watch my blessing grow in the mighty name of Jesus. I will grow and I will watch my blessing in my children's life, my blessing in my family, my blessing in my head, the miracle I've received, my blessing in everything that God has blessed me with. I will see them growing in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not regret. I will not be stunted in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to stay in one position. I will grow in the hand of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I will grow in the hand of God in Jesus' mighty name. I refuse to be a lake. I will not be stagnant in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And lastly, the Bible says there's a river that flows from the throne of God. That river flows right from under the throne of God and it flows all over the world. It's called the living water. That is the same river we should go and be drinking when we get to heaven. I will drink for it in Jesus' name. Say for yourself, well, I will drink for that river of life in the mighty name of Jesus. But before we get to heaven, Jesus said, out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. It could make it a lake, that the thing just inside of me as a blessing and it may me alone. But he said, no, that's not how it, it is with my father. From out of his throne, flow off the river to the old world. Therefore, the throne of God in my belly, from there, the river of living water shall flow out. That is me in the mighty name of Jesus. From my belly shall flow out rivers of living water, fulfilling the word of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. My husband will drink from there. As a man, my wife will drink from there. My children will drink from there. My neighbors will drink from there. 
my country will drink from there. From this rivers of water in me, the whole world will drink from there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be a dead river. I will not be a dead lake. I will not be a dead water. Out of me shall flow out rivers of living water. In the mighty name of Jesus, out of this body of mine shall flow out rivers of living water. Out of my soul, my spirit, my body shall flow out rivers of living water. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will be a source of life. I will be a source of life to my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, as long as I am alive, I will be a life for my family. As long as I am alive, I will be a life for my wife. As long as I am alive, I will be a life for my children. I will be as long as I am alive in this ministry that you have committed in my hand. I will be a life therein. In the mighty name of Jesus, as long as I am alive, I will be a life in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be a dead man walking. I refuse to be a dead man walking. I refuse to be a dead man walking. I will be alive in the mighty name of Jesus. And because I am alive, and I carry the life of Jesus Christ, out of me shall flow out rivers of living waters in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. God will make you a living water. Every word of prayer for your mouth will form a living water Amen. for the life of your children. It will envelope them. It will soak them. If they will drink any water in their dream at all, they will drink waters of your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. I say it again as if your children will drink, will drink any water in their dream at all. It will be water flowing out for your prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Every time you open your mouth to pray, it shall come forth as a living water to everything and to everyone and in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says anywhere that water flow out, even those that are dead, they came alive. The fishes there become alive. Even those dead matches, useless matches that sinking like before, they became alive and water flowed through them and everything they touched become alive. That testimony of the scripture shall be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will grow this water. Amen. I said you will grow this water. Amen. You will grow this water. You will grow this power and this grace you have received. You will grow it. You will grow it. Amen. You will grow it. Until the old generation that God will bring through you, we drink from it in the mighty name of Jesus. The water of prayer flowing through you. Not only we drink, we not only be drunk by your children or your children's children. Your entire generation to just come, we'll be drinking from there in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I say of you and I say of me, out of our belly shall flow out rivers of living water. The same that come from the throne of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. As ever as ever as God is alive and his spirit lives, this shall be so in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Please sing this prayer and worship God. Hallelujah. For the Lord God, omnipotent, great, he reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent praise, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Brother Paul say, as I've received, the same you give, as I've received this morning, I've given you. You too, you give others in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This battle will not stop with you. Amen. This water will not get to your place and get stunted Amen. and get dry up. It will flow out of you too, to your family and to your loved one in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of God, strong God's baby. Wise as Solomon, joint here with Jesus, heaven woman. I'm so glad with this family, family of God. Amen will be your power in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah will work for you in Jesus' mighty name. And I say may God bless you and keep you. May God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. I may God himself shine his light upon you and give you peace. Peace in your heart, peace in your mind, 
peace in your life beyond human understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. My dear friend, I pray for your husband again. God will give him peace beyond wisdom of mind in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Through Jesus Christ in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Everyone hearing me to God will give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And God will put his name for our children and Amen. bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we to be children in Sam, may God put his name upon us Amen. and bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You carry grace Amen. and you carry power. Amen. And you carry grace Amen. and you carry power. Amen. And you carry grace Amen. and you carry power. Amen. And out of your flow, rivers of this grace and water in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. To the glory of God. And the blessing of your generation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. This is over. God bless you. Hallelujah. For the Lord God. Omnipotent. Let me pray for us in Baton here. We pray for us for our God, what we are doing here. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.